Hello amigos, my name is Chubim, and welcome to a video about Nuclear Throne save editing. After I did my very first YV guitar run, people have been asking me how to save edit. Um, first of all, before we even go anywhere, I actually don't recommend this. It actually makes the game less fun after you're able to change it however you want. Uh, that kind of wasn't the point of this game, and uh, I don't recommend it, so... Uh, that being said, if you still want to keep watching, uh, continue. But in order to save edit, you're going to need one thing. You're going to need a decent text editor. My personal choice, which is platform agnostic, and if you ever want to get into programming type stuff, I prefer Atom. So you would get it here at atom.io, and it's a text editor. It works on Mac too, if you want to be that disgusting casual using that. Just kidding. And it's actually kind of lightweight, and if you want to get into programming, this is actually one of the best text editors out uh, today, as of this recording in 2016. The other thing that you're gonna want to go to is a forum post at the link in the annotation on the screen. It's gonna bring you to a Steam forum post that's going to give you all the, the nitty-gritty numbers on how to find all of the different things to save edit. So now you're gonna have to get to the file itself. So I'm gonna show you on Windows and then I'll describe to you how to do it on Mac. And if you use Linux, I'm sorry you are such a goddamn neckbeard. Oh! But you're gonna wanna go to the address bar here in uh, File Explorer. If you don't know how to go to File Explorer, I'm sorry, I don't know how you're alive. But we're gonna go to C colon, right? That is, um, I don't wanna do anything with your colon. You're gonna go to C, which is your local disk. Hopefully, I, I, if you named it something else, I'm sorry, uh, you're, you're so degenerate. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, go to C, users, and then um, your username. So mine's blocked out because um, it's my real name on there. <laughs> Uh, and then you're gonna go to app data. So it is actually a hidden folder. So if you can't see hidden files It's not like you hide porn. Uh, you can actually just type it in the address bar here So just type in app data and then you can go there So as, as we keep going through this GUI, we're gonna go to the local folder and then we're going to find nuclear throne and you're gonna see, you're gonna have this file called nuclearthrone.save. I have a copy of it up here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to wanna to create a copy of it and then paste it in here, just as a backup. And then now you're going to have that file. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is when you go into Steam, make sure in Nuclear Throne, under the Updates tab, you want to uncheck the Steam Cloud synchronization. You want to do this because if you leave it on, every time you start the game, it's actually going to pull from the cloud the actual save file, and whatever you edited is going to get deleted. And then in here, once you have Atom installed, you're going to right-click on Nuclear Throne Save, not the copy, the actual file itself, and then you're going to open with Atom. So the reason I do it in Atom is that after... Young Venus will shank you if you edit this file. Once you get the gist of everything that's here, you're going to know. If you're interested in programming, this is a type of syntax called JSON, so JavaScript Object Notation. That's what they use in the game. You can look it up, and it's actually pretty interesting. It's a cool way of storing data. So, one of the things is that this is not easy to read, or let's be honest. So, the one thing that we're going to do is, uh, I, I go to jsonviewer.stack. Huh? I'm guessing that's hungry. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy and paste all of this text in here. And if you go to format this button here, it's actually going to make it look nice for you. So in here, we're going to find uh, all of the stats and uh, all of the other objects. So now if we go back to the guide over here, and if you're on Mac to get to the save file, it's uh, users that your name, library, application, support, com.vlambeer.nuclearthrone, and I'm not even gonna go over the neckbeard version. Sorry, not sorry. So the main thing I wanna show you is just editing the weapons. If you wanna go ahead and unlock the different crowns, it does tell you how to do that. So here in the stats, we have, uh, it says stats right here. So stats is an object, and then when you see the, the curly brace, then that starts everything under stats. So it, it's gonna go under car data and then a number. So all of the characters are actually numbered sequentially as they appear in the game, but unfortunately in the text file, they're not in order. And you can see here, these are what the character values are. So card data underscore 01 is fish, and card data underscore 02 is crystal. So for example, here in this file, 
Card Data 08 is robot. And in here, it has all of these attributes associated with it. So you can tell I haven't unlocked a lot of the crowns. And the crowns appear in order as they say in the forum post. And CGLD. So CGLD, so you can see CGLD is actually the secondary menu weapon. So that would typically be the golden weapon. And what we're going to do here is that CGLD for robot for me is 42. So we can look that up here in the table and see 42 golden shotgun. And that is actually what I do have on robot. Now, if we want to change it, we can change it to literally any of these weapons. So if we want to make it the energy sword, we can go ahead and make it 24 and then it'll be done and it'll be the energy sword. And we can see here that robot has the energy sword. So that would be a quick way to change the weapons and the characters. Uh, let's let's do one more. So if we want to go and change YV, we know that it's car data six and we want the guitar on it. We know that the guitar is here 115. So we're going to go here and we're going to look for car data six. OK, so we go to car data six and we're going to go to CGLD and then we're going to say 115. And then what we're going to do here is in the stack viewer, we're going to remove white space. We're going to click in the window and we're going to say control A or command A if you're on a Mac. And then we're going to go back to our file. We're going to uh, control A or command A, delete everything and paste everything back in. And then make sure you save control S, command S. And then we're going to see that YV has the guitar. Let's do one more. So say we want to put the Super Plasma Cannon on Fish. Fish is going to be card data 01 and Super Plasma Cannon is going to be 111. So we go back here, condensed. You just make sure you have the white space removed. Otherwise, the game is going to crash when it launches. We're going to format it and then we're going to control F for car data one. This is going to be Fish and this is all of his attributes. And we know CGLD for the Super Plasma Cannon is going to be 111. So we go here and instead of 40, we type 111. We're going to remove the white space. We're going to Control A, Control C. We go to Adam. We're going to delete everything and Control V to paste everything in and make sure you save with Control S. Now, when we go into the game, you'll go ahead and see that Fish now can start with the Super Plasma Cannon. So one more thing that I'll want to go over is how to get some of the crowns on some of the characters. So in the guide here, it shows you the order of all of the crowns here. And what we're going to do is we're going to unlock the crown of blood for YV. I know I don't have that unlocked. So we, when we go here, we're going to see car data six, which is YV. And then we're going to go here under crowns. And then it shows us the order on here. So we're going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eighth zero or the eighth value is going to be the crown of blood. So when we go here. We're going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a zero there. That makes sense because I don't have it unlocked. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a one there. I'm going to remove the white space, select all, copy, Select all, delete in Atom. We're going to paste. We're going to save. We're going to go ahead and see that YV now has the crown of blood. There's definitely more things that you can do here uh, when it comes to save editing. You can do something like put something different in the proto chest. There's so many other things that you can do with save editing. This is just the start. Check out the guide. In my opinion, changing the weapons and changing the crowns is probably the easiest and the most ex most accessible. Um, but with that being said, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I hope you did. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me if you learned something new about this game. It's actually really cool, the fact that you could do this and somebody's made a guide about it online. Uh, all of the numbers are on there, and I just showed you the easier way with stackviewer.who and also with Adam, and all of those things make it much easier Honestly, you can copy and paste in Notepad. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just something that I use very often. And make sure that you go ahead and format it so it just makes it much easier to read in Stack Viewer without having to install something else. Well, anyway, subscribe today if you haven't yet. I do a lot of Nuclear Throne videos, but also a bunch of other games too. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.